YouTube, what is how is everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing amazing. Usually I take one day off a week, but this week I'm like, you know what? We've had a blast. Well, I've I've had a blast just going through everything again, man. So I'll do one today. I might take a break during the week. I don't know. Just it depends on how I feel, how tired I am. I feel fine right now, so I'm gonna keep going till like I start to feel like I'm a little bit tired, then I'll take a day off and so on, so on, so on, man. But still, we're gonna be jumping into the band called Marionus Rest with a song called The Weight. They are an atmospheric band, if I remember rightly. It's been quite some time since I last touched atmospheric music properly, like the ones that I've done previously, and so on and so on and so on. From what I remember, I did enjoy what I heard last, but I haven't listened to it in such a long time now that this will be almost like a blind reaction kind of man. I completely forgotten what they sound like. So, without further ado, man, let's go. I think it's gonna be Black Gaze by this, how that sounded to me. It could just be straight out of atmosphere, to be fair. It looks very similar to Mole's video, you know, with um, After Jordan. It's got such similar startings, man. It's ominous, man. Whoa, that makeup is beautiful, man. Damn. Interesting, man. Okay. I love the little bits of um, deathcore kind of vocal going through the way that it's growling. Like, before we even go into the lyrics, we need to discuss, like, the kind of how the growls are. So, obviously, like, it's very mid range so far. Like, it has a lot of darkness to it, but it's using the way you put this hung, like, against your teeth, like, a, that kind of way, if that makes sense. Like, and you can talk like it. Like, you can. You can totally talk like this, but it is very difficult to pronounce your words. So, when you do, you have to kind of really accentuate the way that you're moving your mouth. And his pronunciation is good, but I can hear what a vocal style he's using because I can hear the little bits and pieces that aren't quite pronounced correctly. So, yeah. Interesting. But look, we're not going to go into lyrics just yet. We've got a long way to go, man. So. I'm imagining this is going to keep building and building and building and building, man, but... Yeah. Oh, 
this is so interesting, man. You can hear the little tweaks and changes they're making as we go further and further and further on. It's very slight, but it actually works really well. I love the humanity in this role because actually, you know, like, that it's, not, it's not a perfect role. It has a lot of humanity behind it, but it still has that sense of passion in it, too. So. I don't know. Let's pause it right there. Let's see. Where are we going to be going with this song? What is the song about? I... I'm actually loving this. I love the little transitions, the little switches, the little bits and pieces that you can really see with it all. And I love the little like transitions with the guitar. Like it's not the same riff over and over and over. It's a similar riff with little bits and pieces switched around a little bit, which is very different. That's a lot of technicality in such a simple manner, if that makes sense. So come and hear the thunder, sound from the final shore, a joy in the march to the edge, a path laced with regrets, beaten under the weight, so, um, as in them marching to the edge, to the edge of the world, I would imagine, or at least to, to the edge of something, maybe the land, the continent, whichever way, maybe just the end of their journey, um, beaten under the weight, but for once our minds will not bend, never started with this journey, by gods we will be the ones to make it end, like, yeah. Like, our minds will never bend, we will never stop, we will never give in to whatever we are going to finish this journey. We are going to take this journey seriously and just keep going and going and going with it. As much as we possibly can and make it all the way to that end, regardless of anything else. That is the purpose, that is the goal of this all. Can you feel the thunder? Can you feel the end? See, King Nothing on a Crusade. The ruler of an empire of ruins. The pilgrim on a pale horse. The imposter left an empty throne. Erase the future. To dwell in the past. Like, yeah, like, if you erase the future, what I'm assuming, like, by Crusades, is it meaning Christian Crusades? Is it meaning, like, the literal Crusades, so, like, you know, where they destroy, where they um, hung witches, or, like, scientists as witches, and burned books, and that type of stuff to stop the future, or at least to slow down the progression of mankind, so that religion could rule a little longer than it should have done, anyway. Um, erase the future to dwell in the past, the wanderers lost in the wasteland, with dreams cut down to size. Like, yeah, maybe those people with dreams or people who thought they could change the world or do other things, maybe it's not quite happening the way they want it to. Maybe there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of meanings I can put onto this so far, but interesting. I love that it's, there's no specific theme, it's just totally down to your own personal preference, to your own personal ideologies and your own personal thoughts and feelings towards what you think they're singing about which is something that's beautiful in my opinion it just allows so much freedom within the music to just put your own message own interpretation to it and yeah man it's good. is that a symbolism of hanging maybe it looks like it or not, maybe it's more like a demonic thing. I would imagine it would be a symbolism to hang, but I don't know. Some of you guys will have to explain this to me, like what they're doing on the video. Oh yeah, the music is really picking up now. Really, 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 really picking up now. Or maybe it's a sign of their virtue. A sign of just the innocence that they're just leaving behind. There are so many ways you can really squash this video.
I am going to go into a solo very, very soon, right? So let's just break down the rest of the lyrics because we're basically there lyrically right now, man. So let's see. I love the passion. The passion in this is everything, man. If the passion wasn't there within the growls, within the vocals, it just wouldn't work in my opinion. And like I say in a lot of these videos, especially when I did a lot of atmospheric, man, this type of music isn't for everybody, right? Like it's a very niche genre that isn't really a thing for most people like this would sound very slow and boring in so many other ways to a bunch of people right so i've always loved doom like i grew up listening to draconian and bands like that so i've absolutely loved similar styles of music for such a long time along with a lot of depressive black metal and now turning into more black gaze with things like mole and bands similar which i need to find a lot more of i need to do a lot more searching around find a lot more bands out there and there's a lot of time to fill and we have years upon years upon years to get this channel up to the amount of bands I want because I've not even scratched the surface of what I want to do yet, man. I know so many bands that I just don't need to go through. So many albums I want to break down in the process of it all, man. Mariners Rest is just a band that are amazing. They are beautifully written, like, beautifully played too, man. Damn. Let's see. Um, this weight on our shoulders designed to crush to make us fall. Like, yeah. The weight is almost like the pressure or the social pressures or maybe the pressure of religion or to get married or to give up their virtue for whatever reason, maybe, or potentially. Will you help me get through this? As I see no other way, please guide me through this maze. It's all that's been too hard. Like, is he, is he talking to some kind of god? Is he talking to himself? Is he talking to people around him? Like, what... Is he trying to get through? Why are we on this long journey? Why did the journey start? I'm guessing it's all part of an album, don't get me wrong, but like, like listen to things out of sync of where it's meant to be placed kind of confuses, but it also lets you put your own specific meaning upon it. Like with Lorna Shaw and Pen Remains, how people think one, two, and three is a love thing about losing their wife, and it's not. It's about somebody's own mental world breaking down and them basically wanting to kill themselves because of it. And you get the idea, right? Like, it's just like a twist on things. If you take things out of context, and of course you could put whatever meaning you want onto it. Doesn't make it right, though, does it? Um, our steps through the snow feel like dancing on broken glass. Especially if you're barefoot, I would imagine, man. Will you help me get through this? For it all has been too long and hard. Can you hear the thunder? Can you feel the end? Like... Maybe they're going towards their deaths. Maybe they're going towards a victory, towards a new place, a new land, a new world, a new hope. I don't know. But what I do know is this is such a greatly written band song. Greatness right now, man. Damn. Where we're seeing the band for the first time as well, man. This whole video. I thought it was going to be into a solo man, but I guess not. That is a piercing high, man. That's cool. Now that she's collapsed, maybe that's all her, the sides of herself, maybe, potentially.
That's awesome, man. Like I said, man, the song, amazing. Just beautiful. Amazing. Honestly. Just great in this one. I know it has ended, but I don't want to pause it until it's actually, actually done, man, so. Oh, look at that. Timing for the pause, man, damn. I don't know. Um, let's go with that. Um, that was, like, beautiful, masterful, man, even. Like, I've, like, like I said, man, I love atmospheric music. It's one of my favorite genres of music. It's something that's helped me get through the darkest, most awful times in my life. And it's also helps me get through my day to day sometimes, man, sometimes. Like, as a kid, or teenager, should I say, I used to listen to bands like Draconia to help me sleep. Because I, I was still dealing with a lot of issues, should I say, with like a lot of stuff happening with my body specifically. And just a lot of pain, basically. And music would help me through that. Music is. Like, it, it has such a deep meaning for me, personally. That's why I try to put as much time as I can into bands, because I don't like seeing bands' potential get blown out. Like, when I see somebody do an album review, and they don't, and they end the review, right? And if you ask them, what was this album about? What, what did it mean to you specifically? What was the album trying to convey? What message were they giving out? And they can't give you an answer then what is the point, man? Music is meant to be something special. It's meant to be appreciated. The bands put countless hours into it. They work and work and work trying to pump out the best to become the best at what they do. And to appreciate that is just what I personally love to do. It's my thing. It's why I do what I do. It's why I make videos every single day for the most part, man. So either way, sick band, like I said. I'm kind of going on a tangent for some reason. Don't ask me why, but still. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.